Aloha, my Hawaiian peacock, Ohana. This is your boy, Brada Mel, aka the Hawaiian peacock, here with another video for you. In this video here, we're gonna go into the room, okay? I'm getting sick and tired of being sick and tired. Now, what I mean by that, I mean, I'm sick and tired of this light that I have in here on the 55 gallon Mbuna tank. We're gonna do something about it, all right? Let me show you guys really fast. Let's turn this around. That is what I'm tired of, all right? I've just been lazy, and I figured, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna do a DIY and we are going to make a hood light for this entire 55 gallon tank, okay? From A to B, all right? So we're gonna head over to you know where, the depot. That's right, we're gonna get some supplies. I'm gonna show you guys a little tip, a little trick, DIY style, Hawaiian peacock. Let's get to the depot, I'll see you guys in a second. Boom, here we are, Home Depot, in the plumbing department. This is what we need first, okay? So we're gonna grab us some of this right here. Right here, right there. This is multi-purpose foil tape. Multi-purpose foil tape, guys, okay? See it? It kinda looks like uh, foil and tape. All right, here we go, guys. This is what we need. The vinyl case style gutter. 462, and it looks like it is a 12, 10 to 12 foot piece yeah it's a uh, it's a big piece and then we need two end caps right here here we go a pair of end caps for eight bucks all right guys so we got the parts for the aquarium light that we're gonna make we'll get out of here and I'll see you guys at the house boom we are home just like that step one take the measurements of the top of your tank before you cut your drainage Let's go. This is your normal 55 gallon tank. So it should come out to four feet. And yes, it is 48 inches. So we're going to make this light. Uh, let's make it about 46 and a half inches long. All right. Therefore, it'll cover the entire top of the tank. All right, guys. So this is what we need to build this hood light. Obviously, we have our long drainage. All right, which is, I believe it's 12 feet. We're going to cut that to size. Uh, we got the existing light, which we're going to glue underneath the hood light as well. Um, we got a glue gun with some extra glue sticks. This is a great piece to have in the fish hobby. We have a hacksaw to cut our drainage. We have the end caps once we're done. Of course, our measuring tape. And then check this out. This I got for free. A buddy of mine was getting rid of it. Uh, he bought a new top for his tank. So I said, do the lights work? He said, yeah. So I got this for free. We're gonna take all of these LEDs out. We are gonna glue them to the bottom here. And this is what we're gonna create our light with. Now, you can use, I'm gonna use both rows anyways. Um, you can buy the strip, the lighting strips that they sell at Home Depot. They sell them online for a really good price. Amazon, eBay, you can price those uh, with remotes too as well. But we're going simple. You know, we have our little on and off switch. It connects and this is what we're gonna do. So let's get to it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and cut to length. I measured 46 and a half inches. And we're gonna go ahead and wax all this. It's really thin, easy to cut. We are looking for 46 and a half and there we go. Looks good to me. All right, so you got two different sides to choose from, right? You can choose this side with a little bit of texture, a little bit of concave, a little bit of style, or we can flip it to this side and you can have just a straight edge. So I like the way this style looks. So we're gonna, this is, just pretend this is our tank, our, our top anyways, and this is gonna be the top, what it's gonna look like. So before we start to glue in, our lighting we're gonna actually create a hole for our wires so we can run our wires to the side so it just looks cleaner right so I'm gonna use a router there you go we're gonna run our wires right through here we are going to use our foil tape and tape it in the inside of the hood 
Foil tape is extremely important in this build. This is what's gonna reflect the light back down into the tank. So we have the end cap so the light won't escape from the sides. So you know this tape is extremely sticky. So it has an adhesive peeling on the back. All right, so we're gonna cut seven pieces at 46 and a half inches long, all right? Our seven pieces are cut to 46 and a half inches long. Now we are going to take each strip, peel the adhesive off the back and apply it to the hood light. All right, so here is the first sheet, what it looks like. As you can see, the reflection of the light, it's already doing its job. Uh, just smoothing it out. This, this tape is really, really sticky, guys. So once it touches the surface, uh, it's pretty much a wrap. So be careful on that. I got six more sheets to apply to the inside of this hood. All right, here we go, guys. Boom, end cap on one side. And then we got boom, end cap on the other side. And this is what it's gonna look like sitting on the top of your tank. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and start to glue the lights to the bottom of the hood. All right, let's get to it. All right, let's pop these LEDs off this hood light. As you can see, it's... All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get a wet towel and clean these off. I don't know if you can see, they have a little bit of water stains on it. So we're gonna get this all nice and shiny, looking like new. Boom, just like that, guys. Brand new LEDs. All right, guys, so here we go. This is going to be the layout of how we're going to glue uh, this light on, okay? So we have, obviously, you can see the individual white LED lights, and um, I'm going to go ahead and glue this strip down in there, too, as well. This has blue and white combined, um, so we can see how it counteracts with the all white. We can actually change this bar to all blue, so it might bring out the fish's color, as we know, when you have that blue light on, it kind of brings out the fish's color. So we're gonna go ahead and um, fire up the glue gun and glue these individual pieces to the uh, foil. All right, so the glue gun is hot and ready like Little Caesar's Pizza. So let's go ahead and get started and glue these individual LEDs. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, apply a nice, generous bead of silicone on the back of these LED lights put this back and um, I'll flip this over now it dries pretty quick but it doesn't dry you know super fast where you can't make adjustments so you can make a little bit of an adjustment before it starts to grab and we're going to go ahead and apply on all three of these pieces here it's real easy to use if you guys have never used one it's real simple to use a glue gun Hold this down here. All right, easy. Now we're gonna glue this light bar right here in the middle. So I'm really caking on this glue, making a thick layer to hold this light because it has a little bit of weight, you know? I'm gonna make sure it's secure. And now let's flip this over and eyeball it to where it's right here in the middle. Mm-hmm, perfect. And just like that, it's done. Real simple, easy way to make a hood light. Last but not least, oh yes. Prime and paint in one. Black, this is the finishing touch right here, guys. All right, so before I reveal what this hood light looks like, I gotta give a huge shout out to Paul, the inventory king. I saw a video where he made a hood light similar to the way I did it. Of course, I tweaked it a little bit, um, made it the whole Hawaiian peacock style, but you gotta check out his video on the way he made his light. Man, uh, link will be in the description below. Go check out Paul, the inventory king. I just can't get over how nice it looks. So we're gonna go ahead, flip this camera around, flick the light on and see what it looks like. Let's go. All right, now you know what I'm talking about, guys. Look at it. Look at the hood light. Tell me that does not look legit. Look at it all the way down. Check out the side. We got our cap that's painted and check out our wires running out the hole there on the back, the top. And if you take a look at it, you know, at, at eye level, it's actually hiding the hang on the back filters too as well. You can see the pothos uh, coming out the back. But I mean, other than that, this thing came out cherry. All right, so let's turn on the lights. The moment of truth. Here we go.
O M G Z. Check that out. Look how good it looks, guys. And like I said, I can make an adjustment. I can take off the white light so it's just blue. I can add the white light. I can also shut off the blue light to where it's just all white light. So this is all white light here. Actually, this is white with a little bit of blue. And this is all blue light. So that main little strip is all blue, and then the um, individual white LEDs are on. So I like this setting best. Woo! Look at that. Look at that. Super excited the way this thing turned out, guys. Like, she ain't nothing but a hoochie mama. Hood light, hood light, hoochie mama. She ain't nothing but a hoochie mama. Hood light, hood light, hoochie mama. Sorry, I just had to do that. Uh, been saying hood light throughout this whole video, and every time I say hood light, hood light, it makes me want to say hoochie mama right afterwards. So I got that out of my system. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys learned something on this DIY project. It's one of my favorites, I think. I think I fell in love with this DIY project. Anyways, don't forget to subscribe. Be a part of the Hawaiian Peacock Ohana. Hit that notification bell next to the subscribe button. That's just going to notify you when I put out a new video. It costs you nothing. It's free 99. Don't forget to like this video. Hey, if you want to share, share it. That would be awesome. Sharing is caring. And don't forget to comment down below. Tell me what you guys think about this DIY project. Pretty simple to do. Anybody can do it. Any size tank, I got a bunch of gutter left over, I don't know, probably like nine feet of gutter so I can make some more if I need to. I uh, just got to go get some lights and like I said, you can get those lights anywhere. Happy fish, happy life, much love and aloha. Oh, the water she moves me every, every day, oh, the water she moves me.